You will soon be able to buy the Amazon Astro for $1,500. A device that can't map more than one floor of a building. A device that reportedly will trip your alarm system if you drive it around whilst you're out of the house. A device that will happily roll through dog shit and smear it into your carpets. A device that basically does nothing of value whatsoever. But you could buy this RoboVac. That basically has all of the Amazon Astro functionality, but knows what a dog turd is. Turd detected. I will not eat that. Thanks to Roborock for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. And it's the Ultra part of this name that fills me with preposterous levels of excitement. You see, you can buy this Robovac in three different formats. You can buy the vacuum on its own, you can buy it with a dock that simply empties the bin, or you can buy it with a dock that Darth Vader would be proud of. Lord Vader, are you making the dock clean the Robovac again? Well, of course I am. This Robovac is low key fire. And he's right though. This would not look out of place on the Death Star, and the fact that it is a tiny car wash makes it an actual thing of the future. <laughs> Star Wars is set in the past, you noob! <laughs> but it's the bizarre number of automations that set this Robovac apart from the competition. For example, it has scheduled charging so that it will charge during off-peak hours to save your electric bill. It fetches clean water from the dock to mop your floor and spews the dirty water back into the dock like it's Charlie Sheen after a night out. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear. Go. <gasps> this thing can mop 300 square meters before it needs to be emptied and refilled. And that means that it can mop my kitchen floor 30 times before I need to do anything. I am thirsty, please fill me. And if you leave it to get too full, you get a similar notification. You people are filthy, please kill me. Duh. It doesn't really do that. But it does send you a notification to your phone. It's got LiDAR, an AI camera, and a 3D structure light sensor so that it not only maps your room, but also detects objects like wires, shoes, and even dog mess. The app actually tells you exactly what got in the way. Finally, I can let my dog poop on my floor without worrying the RoboVac will smear feces all over the house. Thank you, RoboRock. Also not a real advert. But if that wasn't enough, it also lifts its mop off the floor when it reaches a carpeted area and then automatically puts it back down again when it reaches an area that it wants to mop. The thing is insane. No, uh, just a quick one. I've kidnapped Jeff Bezos, Amazon's CEO, and I've put him in a meerkat enclosure. I press the subscribe button and let him out. That's it. Right. Fine. He's free. Happy now? Neither am I. This first point of note is incredibly simple, but actually really important. The little rubber roller on the underside of the thing that spins round actually is designed to stop pet hair from getting wrapped up in it. It might do a little bit, but nothing like the bristles of some of the Robovacs that I've tried in the past. And the mop has something called sonic mopping. Don't you f***ing do it, man. Don't you f***ing do it. Ah! What Roborock are actually referencing here is the little pad underneath it does like a wiggly dance as it goes around your floor. And this is something that I've not seen on any other Robomop, and it does a better job because it's not simply dragging a cloth around. It's actually trying to do something as it goes. But more importantly for me, I no longer have to scrub the mop clean myself under the tap 
because the Darth Vader mini car wash does it for me. And the vacuum itself has 5,100 pascals of suction power. And to put this in context, this is the second most powerful Robovac on the market as of November 2022. But enough about its ability to vacuum, nobody cares about that. This thing is a full-blown remote-controlled drone. literally see through its cameras. I can drive it about using the remote control in the app, and I can talk to burglars on a two-way intercom system. <laughs> what? And not only does it have night vision, but it's also got a head torch to help it see in the dark, which is just mental. If you're the tinfoil hat type, you'll be glad to know that this functionality is actually disabled by default. And if you want to turn it on, you have to press all three buttons on the robot before it can be enabled and hold them down for several seconds. So if you're worried about privacy, you don't have to enable this function. It's also worth noting the vacuum is certified independently by TUV Rhineland, and it meets the ETSI EN303645 cybersecurity standards and the camera will also warn you, using a voice prompt, that it is being remotely accessed as it drives about. On top of all this inbuilt automation, there is also Google and Amazon support for you to be able to use your mouth hole too. It even has an absolutely awesome Home Assistant integration that gives you all sorts of control over the vacuum, but also has sensors that will pick up if the water needs filling up, for example. I'm renowned for destroying Robovacs by testing them too hard. It's an irreparable <laughs> thing. <laughs> it won't go back in. <laughs> 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 oh god, it's like glue! And today may or may not be any different because I have a preposterously disgusting challenge for it. We're renovating the kitchen at the moment, and because Nisha has something wrong with her brain, she expects me to clean underneath the kickboards, where we're going to be, of course, sealing the whole thing up and you're never going to see it. I did question this with her, but she gave me a particularly long and loving stare. So this bloody robot's doing it. That's nuts. Is climbing the laminate floor. That's, that's rather impressive. When I started, I had no idea that they were linoleum tiles under there. Like all I could see was like this grey matter. It was disgusting. And by the time it had finished, of course it hadn't managed to get all the way through because it can't fit through the legs of the cupboard. But where it had got to, it was incredibly clean. And it's quite incredible because it's had to do so going up and down a piece of laminate to get to it. For the final test, I didn't need to throw anything on the floor because we have gerbils and they're ignorant. They just, they don't give a shit. They, they just spit their food all over the place. And so I set the Robovac on the seeds that were all over the floor and thought the seeds would probably get stuck in the carpet. It, it sucked up every single one of them. I don't personally have this problem because although I have a very thick pile carpet, it isn't obnoxiously thick. These are Rob from the Hookups Woods. He said his carpet is obnoxiously thick and he does find that the mop drags on it slightly. So it's worth bearing that in mind. You have to replace the bin bags. I would have preferred a container that I could have just emptied out, but lots of places on Amazon do sell replacements and you can get nine bags for 23 pounds. I'll link those in the description along with everything else. Apparently each bag will give you two months of cleaning and there are two bags in the box. So that's four months cleaning before you've even started. And finally, it's still not absolutely perfect when it comes to avoiding shoelaces and cables. It did pretty good in my testing, but I did once find it chewing on a cable. The other thing is, and it's probably worse, really, is that it gets stuck and then won't admit it's stuck. It's belligerent about it. It's like, no, I'm not stuck. You are stuck. <laughs> oh, 
no. Please don't die. Here we see the Roborock S7 Max V in its natural habitat, stuck between several objects, pretending it isn't. Error eight. Robot trap. <laughs> Finally. Finally given up. It doesn't get stuck often, and it should get stuck less as time goes on because it starts to realise where hazards are. And if it doesn't, you can tell it. So you can go into the app and draw a little square area where you don't want it to go anymore, and it will no longer go to where that hazard is. It's not cheap, there's no doubt about it, but it is the best RoboVac on the market right now. You can go and watch Reed from Smart Home Solvers Review or Rob from the Hookups Review and they'll tell you the same thing. You can go and read the comments underneath Reed's review and you'll find a chap proclaiming that it just works. It just works! In Rob's testing, the Roborock vacuum was the only one of the three that collected 100% of the debris that he put down for it. And he had literally weighed what he'd thrown down versus what had been picked up. Go watch any review and they'll tell you the same thing. This is easily the most powerful RoboVac on the market that has this kind of feature set. It's the best value for money, even if it is the most expensive. If you go and watch their reviews, come back here and use my affiliate links, obviously. No, don't use their affiliate links. Use mine. <laughs> as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one of these up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and every week I tell you the same thing because every week it is more true. Without them, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be working in a call center. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Which has all of the Astro functionality, but knows what a dog turd is. <laughs> well, same to the toy back into Paul Hibbert. <laughs> Stay away from me, man. This is really weird. <laughs> Nisha's in a meeting downstairs. I can hear her. She's going to be really mad. <laughs>